Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros and today I will talk about processor percentage processor time versus process percentage processor time and uh, it's difficult to even pronounce this uh, together and I can understand the confusion sometimes these uh, perfmon objects and counters uh, cause and this uh, video is of course uh, inspired by uh, a question that came up in in one of the forums recently. So uh, performance uh, monitor as many of you might know is a tool that comes with Windows which will allow you to uh, check on uh, SQL Server and Windows and a lot of other applications that are running on Windows check their performance which is monitor how well they are behaving when they're running. So there are two objects processor and process and both of these objects have a counter called processor time but they behave differently when i say behave differently on a specifically on a multi proc system they show different numbers and you need to understand what processor time would mean in relation to the processor overall number of processors that you have and what will processor time mean in relation to the exact process and uh, for this video our process is sql server so instead of talking about them conceptually let me show this uh, and try to explain this to you with a demo. So as usual, no more slides and we will jump uh, right into action. So the performance monitor is already open in front of me and in background you can see SQL Server Management Studio. I have removed all the counters uh, from this uh, performance monitor window pane and I will click on the plus sign now to add the two counters that we talked about and it just takes uh, a bit of time to load all the counters so you can see now the processor and the process both the counter uh, objects are there and from processor i will click on the down arrow and scroll down and add the processor time and i'm going to add it for all the cpus so you could see that i have eight cpus right now in this vm so zero to seven so let's take the processor time for all of them total and then add and then I'll scroll up a bit and go to the process object here and click on the down arrow and I will again take the processor time. And now when I take the processor time for the process, I need to choose the process and I'm going to choose SQL Server. So on my keyboard, I'll just quickly type SQL and all the processes that begin with SQL are here and the one that we want is SQL um, Server this is the one so that's the exe and then I will select this and click on add here and click on ok and now you can see the two uh, processes uh, the two uh, counters out here and you can see the scale as well it's uh, one uh, which is the default scale for both the counters but then I will have to change the scale for the first one the processor time for SQL Server and I will explain uh, that to you in a moment and when I double click on this, let me just go and change the scale back to 0.1. That will be enough. And now, first things first, if we look at the SQL Server processor time, you can see that maximum is about 84 out there. So um, watch for this space. It's about 84 and uh, percentage. And for the processor time overall, you can see maximum is about 12%. Um, now the uh, obviously if you ask anyone about uh, um, un, um, you know monitoring the cpu time task manager is one of the most popular tools to look into the processor time so if i go into the task manager if i, I launch it and if we click on the cpu tab there and in a moment you will see sql server will pop up so let me go and run some workload and uh, let me just add one user and now when I go to the task manager and scroll up, we will see SQL Server coming on top here in a moment. There you go. So you can see SQL Server uh, Windows NT 64 bit. Now SQL Server consumes, as you can see, about 13% and uh, the overall CPU consumption is 18%. You can, you can watch that even in... Um, the graph here but let's go back and look at our numbers okay so this is the number that i was talking about uh, so 18 uh, 22 now and then uh, sql server is using 14 percent let's go back to the perfmon and let's understand the difference so 
processor time you can see maximum is 35 but currently the processor time for the for the processor object is sitting nicely at, at about 20 percent but if you look at the processor time for the sql server process the maximum is about at 100 now here is the difference what does 100 percent here mean for the pro processor uh, for the sql server process let's add a few more users i'm adding four more users to get this concept really clear now let's go back and look at the performance counter now that's the reason now you can understand why i changed the scale so if you look at the processor time for uh, the red one for the, for sql server process you can see maximum has gone up to 478 now this is what i mean in a multi proc system you kind of have 100 percent for each proc so if you have eight procs this can go up to a maximum of 800 now 800 would be the relative and you will have to find out the relative of what 800 would mean uh, as a hundred percent of the overall cpu consumption so if i um, look at the processor time for the processor itself you can see about 80 percent so 80 percent is the total utilization what does the task manager say well the task manager also says that approximately 80 percent is the so look at watch here so this is the one that i'm talking about 80 percent is the total utilization of uh, the cpu and but how much is sql server utilizing about sorry uh, that's about uh, 57 to 58 percent and um, let's go back to the performance and you can see 57 to 58 percent so and here it says 487 now let's do some mathematics so i will launch uh, the calculator and what i want to do is i can see 487 let's take 487 of 800 what's the 100 percent in relative terms into 100 okay and you get about 60 percent and if we go and look into the task manager are we sitting at 60 percent yes more or less this is the calculation that we need to do so and i looked at maximum that's why i get a difference of a few percentages here because i'm not supposed to look at the maximum i'm going to i need to look at the current number so if i go and change this to the report and then for the process i can see 434 449 and let's go and do some mathematics here um, again so let's take 435 435 by 800 800 is the max what we can go up to because there are eight processors into 100 and this is where we are 54 percent so that sits nicely with where we are in terms of the processor utilization so this is what i really mean uh, by the uh, processor utilization when you look at the processor time of the processor object versus the processor time of the process object hope uh, this demo was useful to you with this thank you very much hope this video was worth your time see you soon in another video